Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard on a sweltering hot day. And I just got in the mail from Amazon, from my Amazon link, these cool silicone tools that are new to me. So, I'm not sure all of them are going to be useful because I do need to do my hair. They have fairly thin blades and I'm looking for one that might be of interest. Oh, that one's good. And that one's better. Okay, so I've got two that seem to be interesting to me. The rest I'll put aside. I don't know at what point I'm going to use those. And it doesn't matter that my canvas is schmutzy. <laughs> Let's give it a quick clean. Yeah, that's working. <laughs> I shook my, my paint. Let's use that just because we can. Ooh, nice thin blade. I like that. Probably if they had one with rounded corners, I'd be just as happy. So usually I'd be using my OXO omelet turning spatula, which is an, what do they call it? An omelet turning, uh, yeah, a flip and fold. That's what I'm looking for. So what I really want to do is just have a wet layer of paint for my sky. And if I give up on this little spatula, I'll use it for something someday. But I just wanted to try it out. Oh, that was the Venetian blue. I was not intending on using that for sky. But you know what? <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. So I think I'm just going to scrape that off. Let's see how far I can get that to go. Because I'm going to put a landscape on the bottom with a puddle of paint. I'd usually pour it. Today I'm going to puddle it. I always wanted to just give, have permission to just do whatever, strangely enough. And I can't help it. I just always love to have a little, have a little pink streak in my sky. It makes me happy. Let's put a little more right up at the top. I'm running out of that color. I'm going to be sad when it's gone. I often have trouble with the edges of my canvas showing canvas, so I really actually prefer to have a puddle of paint. I think what I'm going to do is wipe that paint off my spatula on the top of the canvas and then rub it in with my finger. Za fingers. Now, I was going to use my leftover paint, but it's really kind of cool. I might add a little bit, but I think what I what what I'm going to do. See what happens when I add enough paint in a random configuration in all the colors that I usually add, and maybe a few others and some black enamel. And where's my gold? There it is. I'm being very lackadaisical about this because I want to prove to you guys you can you can put it in a oh that's that's not good. Well Get rid of that canvas on the edge of my print. I might have to swipe across that again. All right, so what else do I have? I'm obviously going to have to go up to that point. Do I have, what else do I want? I want some weird colors in there. And if I need more, now I probably have more paint than I need, but I've got an edge catcher over here that's actually dry. And I want to move some of my paint out of my way. Now usually I'll move it all across, so let's do that once. Let's start with that. I was going to put a uh, basting brush or a fork or something in there, but I think we can just do it this way and have it work out. 
And I'm not sure I've ever tried it just, just this way alone. Let's go across first. Maybe I can go across just like I did on the other side. I'm going to make a puddle of paint. And before it becomes an impossibly impossible to control puddle of paint, I'm going to flow all that up. And if I want something else up there, I can put it in after. In the meantime, if I flow that puddle of paint down, I can flow it across the bottom. After I rock it, rock it a little bit to cover your bottom edge. This is, like I said, an 11 by 14 painting. Once you get to the end of that place and you rock it, then you can rock it and scrape it, and it'll come right back up. You can use the paint on your edge catcher. You can continue to tip it across, which I think I might want to do. And because I put black enamel in there, there's a really good chance that I'm going to get some kind of cellular activity. I'm just sort of keeping an eye on, and I'm planning on putting any of the paint that I pour off right back into the artwork. So let's just let that flow off. You could put a basting brush in this at any point in time. I want that purple to go all the way off that edge. I wouldn't even mind having some of it to put back on the other edge. But it's making some really cool cells over there right now. So I'm going to knock that off. I'm going to have a look. That's kind of cool. I'm going to take some of that paint right now with my spatula, put it back in. I'm going to do it again up here. I might even continue on across, even though I like that black area. Can just make some different configurations of land. I don't really want to change that much about the bottom, but I've got this beautiful paint and I refuse to use it to, to waste it. Yeah, I'm not so sure that was part of the plan there, that drip. But I've got some neat stuff happening and I like all of it. I can let all of those things flow down if I want to. I use GAC 800 by Golden and all of my paint mixtures, so I don't really need to worry very much about it cracking. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video. I wonder if this tool will take that paint off that spatula. There's a learning curve, and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. We'll put a bluff, little bluff right up there. And uh, so I might want to put some more white in my sky, but I'm not sure that I can use this nasty spatula. I definitely got some color drooping down over the edges that will be helpful. And I need more. Well, I'm going to torch because I've got really cute stuff going on down there. I'm going to use my little, my new little toy. But I think I'm going to actually look at what I've got. There's probably a lot more paint there than I actually need. But I'm pretty happy with my little cliff up this edge. And I am going to torch. Yeah, I like my configuration of land. I'm going to fix my edges and I might fix my sky. So I think I'm just going to torch the bottom. I can hear that thunder. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. Now I'm going to tell you guys that I forgot to set my timer, so if you're almost gone, <laughs> I apologize. If you would like to help me out, share my videos, and look on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Uh, excuse me, I say that every time. That's a Facebook group for students. Look on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Uh, yeah, try it again. Uh, fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Oh boy. Okay, it's really, really too hot, and my brain has melted, obviously. And I'm looking for something that I'm not finding, which is the white metallic, and it's plugged. So please share my videos, 
Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you. I really appreciate that. I'm looking for some more blue. I'm going to take some white and a little bit of this purple and hope that I can steal some of that paint right over the edge and then make my sky just a little more interesting without pulling too much paint off because it's definitely hot and getting kind of gloppy out here. Pardon my brain cramp. When it's cooler, I can do more than one thing about more than one thing at once, but evidently not anymore. So check my playlists on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batsell Art. I see that thing for over 1,460 videos. I don't know how many there are here. There must be 60 on on uh, Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batsell Art. And uh, okay, so please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for the wonderful comments. Thank you for the donations that have kept me painting. I really appreciate that. You can look for PayPal or Patreon. You can look for all kinds of links right under the link tree underneath the video. And if I forgot to tell you something, which I probably did, like the Facebook group is called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. It's for students. <laughs> You'll see it in another video. If you watch my videos longer, you help my placement. Um, I love you. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if I can answer any questions, please go ahead and ask, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I don't often use that lighter color green, and I kind of like it in there. It looks pretty magnificent with all those patterns. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. And I will be cleaning up my tile. Bye for now. Priscilla out.